Hey, what's up guys? I just want to make this quick video on LED lights. Um, can I show you how to power them? Um, as you already know, a whole bunch of people sell them on eBay and pretty cheap, but they don't tell you how to power them. Some tell you that you can power them off of AA batteries, but that's bullshit. Well, somewhat it's bullshit. So um, I'm going to show you how to, how to power them from your home electricity or, you know, home outlets just like this one. And I'm going to unplug this so you can see that that's what's powering the powering the the LED lights, and you know the power went off. So as you can as you can see, this is a hair salon, and that's one of the reasons why I ended up putting those LED lights here because these um, shelves gets really dark, especially this bottom one over here, and you know the boxes are black. So these boxes are label, and you know it's really hard to see the the, the numbers on the boxes and the label. So I ended up putting these those LED lights. Now, let me put it back on so you can see that this is what's powering the, the LED lights. And um, this this thing, I found it laying around. This came from a home phone, just like this one over here. Well, actually, it's a broken home phone. So what I did, I got the power cable. I cut it right there, and I sliced the cables up, and I started them to the LED lights, and they seem to be working just fine. After that, I run the cables underneath the cabinet right there. I used tape. And I soldered them to the LED lights. And another thing that I did is that I ended up putting this switch over here. So whenever they open the door, the light turns on by itself. And whenever they close the door, it turns off the, the power. And the switch, I ended up getting it at, um, what's that store called? Uh, Radio Shack. Now, these guys are fucking morons, I swear, man. I walked in there and I asked them, how can I power these led stripped and they looked at me like what the fuck is he talking about so they didn't have no fucking idea what the fuck i was talking about so they told me to get this stupid um battery adapter but it didn't work um this one's four double a batteries but they it didn't work because they're only 1.5 volts each and in order for you to power one of these uh, um, led strips you need uh, like a nine volt battery if you connect the nine volt battery you're you're good all right, so just so you can see that it does power off of this nine volt battery, um, all you gotta do is put the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. If it doesn't work, just switch them, but it will power your LED strips. Now, another thing that you can do is buy the cap for this uh, for this battery, and it, on you know it comes with the cap, and on the other end it's, it's gonna be some wires just just like this one. So all you gotta do is just solder them to whatever the hell you want and you should be good to go now one thing that I don't know is how many strips you can power off of these uh, 9 volt battery nor how long it will last so I guess that's on you to find out now you can also use some other batteries that are 9 volts and above so once again if you got one of those broken phones you you can pull these project off uh, let the camera uh, let, let me show you real quick let, me, let the camera focus um, this one, of course, the AC adapter, and I guess uh, what matters is the the output. As long as it's 12 volts, you're you're fine. I seen some people. Th this was 1.5 amps. I seen some some guy power powered them off of uh, 4.5 amps, something like that. Now on vehicles, it's much easier. On vehicles, all you gotta do is uh, connect the uh, find a cable that has power. Um, plug that in and put the other cable to the ground and it's fine now this one I got four LED strips powering off of that one adapter now once again uh, if you have an eyeball battery I don't know how, how many you'll be able to power now if you don't got one of those um, adapters what you can do is you can go to monoprice.com and buy one of these adapters these adapters for a camera and let the camera focus this one's a 12 volt one amp uh, this one's for a surveillance camera um, I bought it off on monoprice.com man they sell shit so so cheap there uh, I'm not advertising them but man it's 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 incredible so um, I bought this uh, what I like about this one's uh, 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 you know uh, on the other end it has the male adapter and I bought the female adapter as well separately and on the female and you get the two wires so you can solder them to anything you want so man um, I pay these uh, for like four bucks some shit like that now what I did I drew a hole on the cabinet here uh, you can't see it it's right there so these cables perfect for this um, all you gotta do is drill the hole and slice the cable through there and you know connect the female back to the male and boom you're done 
So, like I said before, I bought these all on, on eBay, and these things are very easy to cut. Uh, if you see those lines right there, that indicates where you can cut them, and they're like every inch away from each other, so you can resize them to whatever size you want. Now, what you gotta do is um, cut right about there to expose the copper, and what you do is you just kind of gently scrape the copper off to expose it and then you just solder the copper well the, the wire into the copper and you know you're you're done now another thing that you can do is um if you don't want to do it from the front you can do it from the back just kind of remove these um this tape double sided tape and um same thing you just scrape the 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 tape off and scrape a little bit of the copper and you can solder the um, the cables and that's pretty much it um another thing you got to keep in mind is that these things um, there is a positive and a negative so if you're doing multiple strips like I did um, make sure the positive states with the positive don't don't swap them because then if you if you cross them and plug them in you're you're gonna fuck them up so uh, when I first bought them I only bought three strips but I realized that it wasn't enough so I ended up buying the the largest strip that it's um I don't remember how many yards but it's like either 14 or 16 feet long and man they they are so cheap man they they're way cheaper than buying uh uh the sets of of foot long you know for like six 14 or 16 feet you get them for like 19 bucks um if you get them from china or japan if you get them from somebody from a manufacturer here in the u.s they're gonna cost you like around 50 or 60 bucks so that's that's on you if you don't mind waiting shit man you can save yourself a lot of money man all right, guys, so I guess that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to wrap up around this video by saying that I am not an electrician. So if you do any projects, you are on your own. I am not encouraging you to kill yourself or fucking electrocute yourself. You're on your own. I just know the basic on electricity. And if you know the basic on electricity, you can pull this project off or whatever project you have in mind. So um, once again, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I hope I pro provided you with all the information you need. If I didn't, um, leave a comment. I'll answer it as soon as I can. Thanks.